Here's the recently molted adult male. Um, I failed in feeding that other adult male. Uh, I lost the American Roach or he's eaten it. The batteries uh, died in this com this camera, so um, I uh, did wait for a while. I was doing stuff on the computer. Uh, look, yeah, photo C failed that strike. Uh, it might not be good for him to stay on the ground like this. Uh, I'm not sure. At least I should clean the floor of the container if he's on the ground so long, so much. Uh, maybe he got a piece of leg up. You know, the molt is in the way a lot of the time when I feed him, so uh, I usually take it out, but I didn't for this guy. For Oops, I missed it. He's eating the molt? No. There you go. He's going for that. Stock. I ain't got it. He's slipping. It's a slippery path, plastic, and the molt is not secured to the ground, so he holds onto the molt. He, slip, uh, he pulls it and then uh, loses, falls there. If I had a stick in this container, he might uh, stay on the stick instead of the ground, so I'll do that. I don't like it. Uh, it just doesn't look. I don't know if it's alright. If it's healthy for him to stay on the ground like that, he might get some infections or I don't know. I'm keeping it uh, kind of dry, so infections might not be uh, bad, or it, he might he might not get an infection because the dryness I, I think stops bacteria or it's it's much better. No, I don't know. These guys have had problem with the, some type of disease. They had uh, some ooze coming out or. When I kept them moist without ventilation, but I changed that. I keep them dry. They do. They're really healthy. It seems they very interesting personalities. They hide on pieces of bark. They kind of uh, scutter down, or they move around the bark like bark mantises or something like that. It's funny. Or they're not like exactly. They're just kind of like they sometimes do act like bark mantises. They're kind of fast and or not that fast, but. This is his first meal he um, since molting to adult. It's been about two or three days. 